Hello everyone, this is Minute with the Mayor. I'm Arlene Borenstein here with our Mayor, Dean Trantalis. Thank you for being here, Mayor. Of course, love to do it. Aw. All right, so there is this new seawall ordinance. It was passed in the last commission meeting. Tell us about it. So the county has now imposed a mandate through all cities and throughout the, uh, the county to require that seawalls now be five feet above certain base point. Mm -hmm. uh, we had 3.9 feet, so now we are implementing an administrative rule that now requires it to be up to five feet. So what does that mean? That means that under three situations, you'll be required to change your seawall. One, if you're building a new seawall, obviously it's gotta be up to five feet now. Mm -hmm. If it's in disrepair and you plan to reconstruct it and it's gonna be more than 50% of the current value of it, then you need to bring the whole seawall up to five feet. Okay. And if your seawall is suffering a situation where water keeps lapping over it during right. storm uh, situations, again, you'll be asked to cap it or rebuild your seawall. And this is important because this is part of, of a bigger plan, infrastructure plan. You guys, uh, the city has already replaced their own seawalls as well. And they're on it's, the way it, to it, replacing it, more. And it's all part of uh, climate resiliency, trying to uh, it's respond to rising sea levels, to avoid flooding, uh, to tr protect property, to protect lives. And, uh, and hopefully this is just one step forward. But Ultimately, we hope that the carbon emissions will be reduced over the next generation and we don't have to suffer these, the, these levels of rising seawater. But uh, in the meantime, this is the best way for us to respond and we're hopeful that the community will also respond. Speaking of living on beautiful waterfront property that gives us these, you know, as they say, first world problems, there's also this blob of seaweed sargasm that's come to the, the coastline. The invasion of the blob, I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it sounds like a 60s yeah, uh, like, sci-fi movie. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yes, a satellite imagery is showing that there's a huge curtain of, uh, mm -hmm. of uh, seaweed approaching the Florida coast, but it's, no, it's, not, it's nothing new to Florida. So, right. nothing new. Uh, and it's nothing, nothing new to Fort Lauderdale. So we have a program. We scoop up the seaweed every single morning, and we actually have a compost pro a program. So it goes from seaweed to soil, and we distribute it to the community as compost and as fertilizer. It's a great fertilizer for, for uh, plant beds. So um, it's just we're going to continue with that program, and, and the tourists don't have to fear about uh, being overwhelmed <laughs> by, by, uh, by seaweed. It'll all be cleared every single day. Yes, it's such a win-win. We yes. save about $300,000 and yes. up by like not bringing it to the landfills and then we're keeping it out of landfills. So exactly, it's a great program exactly. there. Also, fun stuff, Passover and Easter coming soon. Yes, uh, so the holidays are coming up. The Passover, I believe, begins uh, April 6th and Easter follows thereafter. Of course, that's the Western uh, celebration of Easter. The Orthodox celebration is the week afterwards. Uh, so it's a great holiday season for everybody and it comes at the end of spring break. So yes. it's yet another reason to celebrate here in the city of Fort Lauderdale. We never stop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. Absolutely. We'll let you get back to your important work. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone.